Hi guys, welcome back to Shroom Up. This is my first mushroom grow with the North Spore Shroom Tech all-in-one grow bag. Please consider subscribing, hitting the like button. If you guys have grown before, you can give me any advice, any comments or any feedback. I do appreciate it. Let's get into it. Back in December, 2024 I visited MJ BizCon and bumped into the North Spore guys and I was hooked and interested in trying a mushroom grow from there so I contacted them when I got back from MJ BizCon and they sent me some samples so now it doesn't come with any spores or liquid culture you have to do your own research on that and find out what type of mushrooms you'd like to grow I started in the previous episode with a liquid culture. This is 10 days after I injected the liquid culture into both of these all-in-one grow bags. And as you can see, the mycelium has started to grow. Now, based on my research, I have to wait until about 20 to 25% of the bag is full of the mycelium before I go to the next level, which is the break and shake, where we actually break up this mycelium and then spread it into the rest of the grain or substrate that's in these bags, and then wait for it again to kind of like fully colonize the bag. So we still have to wait a little bit longer. This has been 10 days. This is now 13 days later, and as you can see, the mycelium has really, really started to spread and colonize the inside of this bag. So I don't think we're far off. I think we're just gonna wait a little bit longer before we actually do the break and shake. It's weird, every time I say that, I think of Will Ferrell and Shake and Bake on, um, what's it, that Talladega Nights? Is that what it was? But uh, no, we're gonna be doing the break and shake. Okay, this is 17 days after injecting the liquid culture, and I think we're good to go especially if we start to pick this up and actually look at the bottom of the bags in a minute, you're gonna see just how much this is spread. Now, I don't know why I didn't think about lifting it up and having a look underneath sooner, but I did this recently and look how much it actually spread under the bag. So I'd say that's at least 20% of the bag, maybe 25%. I can't tell how deep it goes, but it's pretty firm. The mycelium grows kind of like firm and if you look close at it it looks kind of like kind of like coral it doesn't really look like a um like fungus it reminds me of kind of a coral but it's definitely colonized well it doesn't seem to be any sign of contamination or based on my experience and my research it doesn't look like it's contaminated everything looks healthy so i'm going to be cleaning the surface with 70 percent isopropyl alcohol Again, in future, I'm probably going to invest into a still box where everything can be self-contained and there's no airflow. So I lessen the risk of any contamination from airborne kind of particles or anything in the air. So that's definitely something I'm going to consider or I'll probably invest in one of those in the future. I'm also going to make myself a monotub in the future, but for these early grows, maybe just these two. I'm going to see if I can grow them in the most easiest manner possible without investing into too much equipment. I basically just want to get a couple of really easy, straightforward grows under my belt so I can kind of understand how it all works before I start adding anything else into the mix. As you can see right now, I'm breaking up the mycelium and it's actually quite tough. It's pretty thick in there as well. It's um. Yeah, it's pretty tough, tougher than I thought. So I'm actually a little bit nervous of breaking the bag, but I think I'm gonna be okay. Make sure everything is clean, hygienic. That's basically everything that's going through my mind. Keep everything clean, don't break the bag. So it's a little bit of um, paranoia, but it is my first grow. Once I kind of get used to doing all of this, I'm sure I'm gonna be you know, a little bit more comfortable with all of this. It's very different to my other grows where I can get my hands dirty and covered in mud, etc. This is all about hygiene, so I'm a little bit nervous about splitting this bag. Once we've broke up all of the mycelium, and as you can see, it took quite a while. It took about 10 or 15 minutes for me to break up all of these little nodules and chunks in there and then shake the bag up. So just wanted to make sure that I had a good spread and everything was broken down and 
completely spread through the substrate inside of the bag. I think I got them all. It's pretty easily identifiable. If you see it, it's kind of like a white chunk. So can't see any more of them. I broke it up. I probably broke it up more than I need to, to be honest. It's all kind of really broken down and spread through. So I'm being pretty thorough. I'm just going to have to do it onto the second bag as well. So, and the whole idea of this is that you are actually breaking up that mycelium. So it's going to colonize the complete substrate inside this bag. So once we've done this and once I've done it on the other bags, we're actually going to put it back in the dark box. And I guess wait, I don't know how long it's going to take, maybe a week, maybe two weeks before the whole bag is colonized with this mycelium. Now, this is two different strains of mushrooms that I've got right now. So they should look very different when they grow. One's going to be kind of like a golden color and one's going to be kind of like a, a white color. So we will see. I'm interested to see how fast they grow. Again, I don't know that much about mushroom growing and Basically, this is my first, you're watching me do this for the first time. So kind of working it out as I go along. And then I think once I've got maybe, maybe I've got four grows, I'll probably start to experiment. I think once these two grows are out of the way, I'll experiment with a, um, a mono tub. And as I said, I've got all of the kind of materials to make that, like a plastic tub, a drill with the circular pieces and the uh, filter patches to go on there, but we'll go over that in a different episode. Okay, so now I've mixed both bags, and as you can see, there's no sign of the mycelium because I broke it down. All of the little chunks that kind of looked like coral, I guess, you kind of break it down and mix it in with all of that grain or substrate that's in there, and you can't really see it. Now, we're just going to put these both back into the dark box that I've got and then just wait. It's, you know, it's, I think that's. A lot of this is just waiting. The good thing about this is they don't take up much space. As you can see, they're kind of small, so you can tuck them away. This box is probably bigger than I need. I could probably go with a box, I'd say about a third of this side for these two bags, but um, we will see in the future. Again, I'm just working out as I go along. I'm gonna place them back in this box and check in every day and then post as it goes from there. So. Yeah, guys, I don't know if you have done any grows in the past. If you have, leave some comments below. Give me some advice. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I do appreciate it. Leave all your comments, all your feedback, all your likes, any advice. And we'll check back in in a couple of weeks. All right, guys. Till next time. Bye-bye.